Hi, this is Peter again with a quick video to show you voice email messaging with Eva and AVX. So hopefully you've already got your email account set up. So if you go into the settings, your settings are displayed. And go to email. You'll see there's a new section down the bottom here, voice voice messages. So you can choose a default subject for for these voice messages. And obviously voice message is basically an email with an audio file attached to it that you record. Um, which is really handy if you're in the car or something and you're trying to send off an email to somebody and you know obviously the um, text, the voice recognition isn't working all that great so this is much better. Um, and then you can set a default um, text for the message and then you can choose uh, how long for the message to automatically time out if you don't press the the recording button when you're done and again after the timeout whether it sends the message or cancels so similar to the voice messaging with uh, text messaging anyway the other thing that you can do too when you're doing this is you, similar to regular emails um, the easiest way to, to start it is just to say voice email Peter or whoever the person is um, but if you have different email accounts configured and you see if I look in my configured accounts, I've got a bunch of things set up there for testing and the stuff. The following accounts are con The one I normally use is my Gmail one, so... Um, and you'll see that one is basically set as my default. The details for this account are dis... Down there, outgoing default, yes. Okay. So, normally if I say voice email Peter, it's going to use this account. Um, if I didn't have an account set up as a default, and I said voice email Peter or actually if I hadn't set up any accounts at all yet inside of Eva or AVX um, and I said voice email Peter it would construct the email and then just pop it up with the regular Android chooser and allow you to choose which application is going to send the email off for you um, and also in a case if you don't set a default here you can say voice Gmail Peter where you use the account name and it will use this account when it sends it. So if you have multiple accounts and you don't really want to have one as a default or you want to use a specific one, you can say Gmail or whatever the account name is instead of email. And that's the same for regular, sending a regular email as well. I could just say Gmail Peter and it will construct an email to Peter and send it via this account. So let me show you how it works now. Um, and obviously too, when when you send when you send one of these voicemails, it sends it sends it as a three a GA file, which is basically um, you know an audio format that your phone can understand. If you're sending it to somebody and you know they're going to be reading it on a PC, then they probably won't have any luck trying to play the message because a Windows Media Player um, doesn't support that codec as as, as far as what I've seen. Um, so you probably best you know to know who you're sending it to but obviously once you get in a routine with sending voice messages back and forward with certain people you know that they'll probably be using their phone um, to re receive the email if they open it up in the gmail application on their phone it'll play without any problem um, and obviously if they have eva or abx the same as eva reads the normal emails it'll play the audio file and you'll see that in a second so let me just give you an example and i'll show you how it here works Yes, Peter. Voice email, Peter. New voice email message to Peter Muller. Go ahead. Hey, Peter, just testing out the new voice email function for Eva, and we'll just see how this works. So you see, I tapped that instead of waiting Your for the message countdown. has been sent. And sent the message and then obviously it's going to come back to me and Eva will automatically ask me if I want to hear it and of course you know the way I've got it set up here it'll play in the background if I had the screen off new email received from Peter Muller with subject voice message would you like to hear the message yes hey Peter just testing out the new voice email function for Eva and we'll just see how this works. Would you like to reply to this message? Reply by email. First sentence. I got your voice message. 
I got your voice message. Done. Your message has been sent. Okay, so you see when it came in before, there's the default subject that was set in the settings there, voice message, and it doesn't read the, the actual subject because it just says there's audio on there, it just plays it. So I sent a new email received from Peter Muller in reply to message with subject. Voice message. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. In reply to voice message, I got your voice message. Would you like to reply to this message? Reply by voice. New voice email message to Peter Muller. Go ahead. Okay, so that seems to work fairly well. Cool. Your message has been sent. So you can say yes when asked to reply, or you can say reply, or you can say reply by voice or email, or reply by text, or you can say reply and actually give your sentence and it'll send a text. So there's a bunch of different ways. It's all documented in the help on the functions, but those are pretty much it. So you New see. email received from Peter Muller in reply to message with subject. Voice message. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. Okay, so that seems to work fairly well. Cool. Would you like to reply to this message? No. Okay. So as you can see, that's pretty cool, especially like if you're in the car um, and you don't want to try and, you know, see how well voice recognition is going to work with dictating an email. And like I said, if you're sending to somebody who has a regular phone or whatever and they can play the attachment, it just, they, you can go back into the Gmail application and play it if they don't have Eva, it's not a big deal. Um, so anyway, I think it's, this is another enhancement that's gonna add more functionality for car mode, similar to the voice messaging I did with MMS. Um, but this is probably more generic because a lot more people will be emailing stuff like this than, than sending MMS messages. Anyway, I hope you like it. If you do, please tell all your friends about this and uh, spread the word. Thanks very much.